On today's video, I'm gonna show you a portfolio that is so simple yet looks amazing. And you can learn a lot from how to make your portfolio look pro from the get go. Let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal and if this is your first time here, welcome to Flux. This is the best YouTube channel to learn how to become a designer and make a living as a designer. So make sure you subscribe and like this video for more content on being a designer. Today, I wanna to talk portfolios. Every week we have kind of an office hour for the students of Flux Academy. And recently, one of our students, Olga, uh, showed me her portfolio for review. And honestly, I was blown away by how simple it was and how good it was. And I wanna show it to you today because I think there's a lot of things that you can learn from here, especially if you're a designer earlier on in your career, you don't know how to impress. Maybe you don't have too many works or you feel like your works are not impressive enough. I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips today. Let's dive in. All right, so this is the website of Olga. And immediately, I'm not, I'm not even gonna scroll this. I'm not even gonna reload this, even though there are nice kind of like intro animations here. The immediate thing that you feel looking at this thing right from the beginning is this looks good. Now I'm going to break down why this looks good, but note this is so simple. There's nothing here. There's very basic typography. There's zero color here besides the image, but there is an amazing like high quality photo here. So just to get started, even before I go down and, and see the rest of the website, there is something critical to understand here. When you are starting out as your career and you might not have all of your chops together. Maybe you're not very strong with typography or color. The less, the, the actually the less design decisions that you make actually will improve or actually, you know, reduce the chances of you making some kind of a critical mistake. So with Olga, she's going with a very, very simple sans serif font and there's zero color here. So she's not trying to create color palette. And most of the impact is actually coming from a high quality photo. So she invested in having a professional photographer coming in and taking a professional photo. She's dressed nicely. There's a nice background here. And also, you know, because the website is black and white, she's also dressed in black and white. And the only color is coming from a little bit in the background. Already, this sets the tone to something that is very, very minimalistic, but high quality. And remember the first impact, the first probably five to 15 seconds that people get the first impression on your website, this is how they're going to perceive you. So I'm already perceiving Olga as a high quality professional. I didn't get to her work yet, but already she's benefiting so much from making those very basic, good decision a very clean typography. Note, there's nothing in here. It's a very, very like two columns, the text on the left, on the left, it's left aligned. It's very, very clear. Now, by the way, if I do reload this, um, there is actually kind of a nice, you know, intro animation and it looks good. And there is a nice kind of interactions if you hover over these things, but those are kind of like benefits. The main thing here is that there is very, very clean type and a fantastic image. Now, if you keep scrolling through this, again, it keeps being very, very minimalistic, right? My experience, and there are four different things here, but it, to me, it, it keeps the minimalistic flow of things. It actually looks very much like Swiss design, by the way, if you're not familiar with Swiss design, we're gonna link here, we did a video uh, recently on Swiss design so you can understand the influences here, but everything is le left aligned. You can see with these little lines, the basic grid here of two columns. So everything maintained, it's very, very clean, and minimalistic professional look. Now she's showing her project. And again, it's very, very clear. There is some kind of a screenshot or a mock-up here uh, of the website and then, very, very clear what she's doing. Again, not too many textiles, not too many things going around. Um, very, very basic, but it maintains the, the pro feeling that we have here. Um, perhaps this is a little bit too basic and I would try to create a more interesting visual, but as it is, even when it's very, very simple, as I said in the beginning, the fact that it's simple, meaning that there are not many uh, ways to you know make mistakes here. Now she decided to create another section. Of course, testimonials is always a good thing, but note that the color here is also working together with the color palette that we have here. So we have a brownish color here and then a brownish um, 
background here, uh, kind of a pastel background that's going on with these testimonials. Testimonials obviously is always a great thing. Um, and then design process, again, keeping in line with the visual language that we have here on this website, which is very, very simple. It's typographic. There are little lines here, but it's still open, kind of the space is open. Um, yeah, and then we wrap it up with a nice to meet you, which leads to an about page and a call to action. So basically everything, and we, we can dive deeper into the about me or the actual portfolio work, but everything that a good portfolio has, ha happens on this page. There is a very professional introduction, the services, some testimonials, you get to see some of the work, and this just works. And I have to tell you, I'm seeing so many portfolios and I'm reviewing a lot of them here on the channel. People try to do a lot of fancy things and just end up shooting in their legs just because they are making a lot of design mistakes. Um, here, Olga kept it really, really simple and that it just works really, really well. Uh, let's go and see the get to know me. So keeping up with the same style reasons to work with me. So here, I think here is, for example, one maybe mistake or something that is not consistent with what we had so far is three columns, but they are centered aligned. Why would they be centered aligned? I don't know. I personally would keep them left aligned, uh, aligned, you know, with the rest of the website. But overall, it's very good. The color palettes change here, but the, the, the quality of the images is still very, very high. Um, and I think it looks great. All right, I hope that you understand the takeaway from this video is this. If you're starting out, keep it simple. Make one decision and you understand how important visuals are. Specifically here, it's the visual of, of her, but it can be something else. So make a decision to invent, invest in one thing. Photography can be that thing uh, where you actually make the decision to pay somebody just to make sure that you have high quality assets to work with and then keep everything else simple. Keep the color palette simple, keep the typography simple, keep the layout simple, and it's just going to help you um, look professional because you're avoiding mistakes versus trying to reinvent the wheel. I hope you found this helpful. You can check out Olga's website in the link below this video. And of course, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, make sure to do that right now. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.